In this video, I'm going to show you my favorite blitzing concept in Madden 22. This concept is out of the nickel 335 odd formation. And if you've not picked up my nickel 335 odd defensive guide yet, I'm going to encourage you to do that. There's a link to that defense in the description of the video. If you want to get my full nickel 335 odd defensive guide, it's on sale for just $15. This has probably been the best pressure defense uh, pound for pound, in my personal opinion, in the game this year. The beauty of this formation, especially as it pertains to out of the, the Baltimore book, is you also have formations like nickel triple, 335 wide, 245 double A gap, and 245. So you have all of those incredible, incredible formations. Now the play that we're going to be utilizing in this video is the LB cross three show two, and the setup is really, really simple. All we're going to do is we're going to spread our defensive line, and then we're going to crash our defensive line uh, to the right or crash our defensive line down. As you see here, this is going to create this look. And then all we're going to do is we're going to take this guy right here, Williams, and drop him into a zone of our choice, whatever we want. We can put him in man coverage zone, whatever. It does not matter. And then you're going to use her, this guy right here, Thompson, and you're going to kind of hover. You can stand right here. You can stand right here. It's kind of up to you. Um, I just hold left trigger right here. And at the snap of the ball, what you're going to see is we're going to get instant pressure off the left edge. Now, I love this defense for a lot of different reasons, one of which is how simple it really is to set the pressure up. It's really, really simple. Um, I think this is significantly better than the 2-4-5 odd LB cross 3 show 2 because of how consistent this pressure off the left side is going Going to come in now you might be saying well cody what if they block their running back well if they block their running back i will tell you that this will certainly help them in terms of uh, picking up this pressure but it does not completely negate the pressure uh, as you see right here it does pick up the pressure but one of the things that is really cool about the nickel 335 odd defense is oftentimes what i have found is that the they will actually go ahead the running back will oftentimes step up into the a gap um to try to take away some of the pressures that we have so you see here from the hold left trigger um oftentimes it will keep that running back stepping up into the gap just like that and the one the easiest way to get this to work um, against all of that is we're just going to spread our defense and then we're going to reset our linebackers. What you're going to see is that it is going to spread that guy to the left side out just a little bit more. We're still going to drop that left side linebacker. We're going to hold left trigger right here. And at the snap of the ball, you see the running back steps up to the middle. And as you can see, we're able to get some shed pressure at the quarterback. Now, the other thing that I really like about this is that most people, when they're trying to stop the uh, the any kind of blitz out of gun bunch, they're going to want to delay fade their tight end. That's going to be their number one way that they're going to stop this. Well, the beauty is that that should not stop this defense. Uh, as you can see right here, the defense is still going to collapse. Pocket is still going to come in. And we're going to be able to put ourselves in a pretty good position uh, to be able to get some pressure. Now, let me show you that one more time because we did get picked up that time. And normally, we're going to be able to get this in. So let me show you again. And as you saw right there, able to loop in and get the pressure. So it's a really simple five-man pressure. Really, really simple. Um, you know, just spread your line and crash your line down if you want a really easy version. That's about as easy as it can get. And, um, you know, like I said, just stand right here, hold left trigger. And as you see, this guy is going to absolutely fly in off that left edge. Now, uh, again, I want to go a step further. If you crash your line to the right, I have found that it is a little bit more consistent than if you crash your line down. But if they block their running back again, you're going to hold left trigger right here. Just kind of let that running back look at you. And as you see, that's what I'm talking about, where they'll oftentimes look at your user as opposed to trying to stop the, the blitz. So if I stand kind of right in here, you'll see that if I hold left trigger, kind of pull this running back out of the way. And as you see, the pressure is coming in very consistently. Now, again, like I said, if we slant our line to the left, this is going to make this blitz a little bit more consistent um, against the blocked running back. But it should also make this a little bit more consistent against that blocked tight end. And as you can see right there, that time the tight end blocking is able to pick me up. But let me show you this one more time. And again, there's a lot of different things that we can do to set this up. You know, you can spread your, like I said, spread your linebackers, spread your line, and then reset your linebackers. What that's going to do is it's going to get this left side guy out just a little bit more so that when we go to, to run the blitz, 
normally we're going to be able to loop in a little bit better. So let me show it to you one more time. And the other thing about this defense that I really think is important to point out is it is a very good defense to use with base align. I find that, um, you know, this is a really, really good defense to use with base align. We're going to see him kind of right in here, come down. And as you see right here, he's going to loop in around that edge off the edge for the sack. So I love this 3-3-5 odd defense. I think this is one of the better defenses. Um, you know, in the game right now, I think for a lot of different reasons, it gets really good pressure. It also has pretty good run defense, the three through five odd, and it has great personnel. You're able to get a lot of different things done with this defense. So as you see right there, there's the pressure right off the edge. And you know, if they're if they're blocking their their tight end, one of the things that I want to encourage you to do is to go down and inside with your user. So you're going to be kind of standing right in here. But what you want to do is you want to go down and inside just like that, kind of turn the hips of the guard so that we can kind of get some um, get that blitz angle a little bit better. So let me show it to you one last time. And again, all our setup is is spread your defense, press coverage, or reset your linebackers. You don't have to press coverage either. You could just spread your defense and show blitz as well. You know, there's a lot of ways to get this alignment. But again, you're going to do that. If you want to blitz your user, you certainly can. Um, and then what you'll see here is just turn your hips inside and you're going to be able to loop in around the edge. So this is one of my favorite blitzes in the game. If you want to get my full nickel 335 odd defensive ebook, uh, it's on sale in the description of this video. It's the best defense in the game from a pressure perspective. The things that you can do from pressure and from coverage out of the and the coverage behind it are absolutely incredible. So if you want to get my 335 odd defensive ebook, it's on sale in the description. Just go down to the description, click that link, and it'll take you right over to my website where you can get the defensive ebook for just 15 bucks.